team. The boys are back in blue. Now it's time to meet your 2005-2006 St. Louis Blues. Please meet the players first, not dressing tonight for the Blues. From Estevan, Saskatchewan, number 23, Trent Whitfield. From Shelburne, Ontario, number 47, Aaron Downey. And now, if you'll direct your attention to the Blues bench, from Beaver Lodge, Alberta, number 28, defenseman Matt Walker. From New Haven, Connecticut, number 33, right wing, Eric Boganicki. From Melrose, Massachusetts, a member of the 400 Gold Club and an NHL All-Star, number seven, Keith Kacha. From Trail, British Columbia, a Calder Trophy winner and Blues assistant captain, number five, Barrett Jackman. Now let's meet tonight's lineup starting with the goaltenders. From Vienna, Austria, number 50, Reinhard Divis. An NHL All-Star starting in goal tonight from St. Bonaventure, Quebec, number 40, Patrick Lalee. Say hello to the Blues defenseman from Vermilion, Alberta, number 29, Jeff Woywitka. From Matawan, Michigan, number 20, Andy Roach. From Brandon, Manitoba, number 27, Bryce Salvador. From Alingsa, Sweden, and starting tonight on defense, number 55, Christian Beckman. From Roanoke, Virginia, a member of 14 U.S. national teams, and starting tonight on defense, number six, Eric Weinrich. From Vernon, British Columbia, Olympic gold medalist and World Cup champion, number four, Eric Brewer. Now time to meet the Blues forwards. From West Seneca, New York, starting on the left wing tonight, number 12, Lee Stepniak. From Hope, British Columbia, number 22, Jeff Hogan. From Kingston, Ontario, number nine, Jay McClement. From Thunder Bay, Ontario, number 17, Ryan Johnson. From Penticton, British Columbia, number 42, Mark Rycroft. From Gottwaldorf, Czech Republic, and starting tonight at center, number 26, Peter Giannis. From Grand Cash, Alberta, number 37, Dean McCammon. From Toronto, Ontario, the longest tenured member of the Blues, number 21, Jamal Mayers. From Regina, Saskatchewan, 
Number 18, Mike Sillinger. Starting on right wing tonight, please welcome back to St. Louis from Clinton, Massachusetts, number 48, Scott Young. From Warren, Michigan, an NHL All-Star and Blues assistant captain, number 39, Doug White. Also from Trail, British Columbia, the team captain for your St. Louis Blues, number 10, Dallas Drake. And introducing the Blues staff, athletic trainer Ray Barilli. Equipment manager Bert Godin. Assistant Equipment Manager, Steve Wisman. <laughs> Introducing the Blues Assistant Coaches, Video and Assistant Strength and Conditioning Coach, Jamie Kalpon. <laughs> Assistant Coach, Don Granato. Assistant coach, Kurt Fraser. And returning for his first full season behind the bench after seven seasons as a Blues assistant coach, head coach, Mike Kitchen. Oh, ladies and gentlemen, here they are, your 2005-06 St. Louis Blues. Problems. Now Young to the corner. Back on the point for the 32-year-old rookie Roach. Now Wade shovels it back for Brewer. Wade in deep for Cheyenne. Pounded from behind by Lilia. Now Brewer on for Roach. Here's Brewer again. Now Wade looks for a opening. Wade again. Has a man in front. Great pass. They score! Roach is first at each goal. And the Blues lead one zip. What a great play by Doug Wade. Finally, someone in the back door. Andy Roach snuck in from the left point. A perfect pass by Doug Wade. The Blues take their first lead of the season. What a beautiful pass there from Wade. Right in the seam, and a perfect shot by Roach, and the Blues take a one nothing lead. And eight shots already, so the Blues now one for four in the power play. And what a difference from last night. In. Over to Shanahan. Out high, a shot. And the lame, a good pad save on that. I think off the stick of Lebda. Pressure by Detroit. Right in front. Great save by the lame on Shanahan. His best save tonight. He robbed Shanahan. Play. Now wait, whips it around the boards. Kayanek in the corner. He'll work it out high to Beckman. Beckman gets it again. A shot right on goal and a save by Legacy. Beckman on the line. Now it's Kayanek. Trying to hit Weinrich. He does. Weinrich a shot. The score! Tipped in! And it's 4-2. If you shoot the puck on the power play, you're going to score goals. And that was a heads-up play by Eric Weinrich because he did not shoot the puck right at the net. He had his head up. That way back to the side of the net, and the shot was wide. You'll see here, Doug Wade moving to the side. The shot was going wide, deflected in, and Weinrich was aiming at Doug Wade. And a perfect deflection past Legacy. The Blues cut the lead to 4-2. to two. That's a great tip in. Abby can get the wings on their heels. 
You saw it happen to the Blues last night. Now the Blues need to continue to forecheck, try to set the wings on their heels. Here comes Schneider, picked off at center by McCammon, and he's got a partial break. Here's McCammon, fires one, he scores! What a rocket, and the Blues are right back in the game on McCammon's first goal with the Blues. The crowd is alive and well here at Sava Center. A beautiful play by Dean McCammon, a heads-up play to steal a puck. And a rocket, but watch how he intercepted the pass right there, down the left wing. And what a shot, right up over the glove of Legacy. We saw Brewer score up top last night, that's where you have to shoot. Legacy, a little goaltender going down, but this is a good angle, look at this shot. Right up underneath the bar, four to three now. A shot, empty net, another chance, oh, and Legacy kept it out. We can't believe it. And is the game over? I think they might put a second or two back on, but the Blues, did they ever come close to tying the game? They really did a couple of good opportunities. I don't even know how Legacy came up with it, but there's definitely going to be time going back on this clock because there was still winding down when the whistle went. The referee checking you. Watch this. The puck to the front of the net a couple of different times. First time there is the puck. Doug Wade with the shot goes by. Silger kicks it there. Doug Wade again and right into Legacy, but good pressure by the Blues there. There's the puck, there's the shot by Waite. He thought it was in, it came back to him again. And then there's the shot, first of all, hit Lidstrom and then went underneath Legacy. 